Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. And in this reading, I'm taking a look at Libra's Love Life for the week of October 2020. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you feel like you resonate with the reading and you want to know more about the energy that surrounds your person and what's in your person's environment, where I dig a little bit deeper, I'll also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below, where you'll also see info on how to book a personal reading by me. You guys, I'm starting a contest. Yep, yep, yep. I am going to give away one free personal reading, okay? The rules to apply are simple. Click on the link down below that will take you to my sister's tarot channel. Hit subscribe and comment down below that corresponding video with the hashtag Bassin Intuitive Tarot. Two D's for Bassin, all right? My sister has been doing tarot for a long ass time. When we were kids, instead of playing with Barbie dolls and GI Joes, we were doing tarot readings on each other because my mom was doing um, tarot professionally before we were born, so we were so into it. But it took a while for her to get the guts to start her own tarot channel because she likes to do her readings one-on-one -on -one in person. So please click on the link to her channel, Frankie's Tarot, and show her some love. And if you want to enter into that contest, click on the subscribe button on her channel and then comment down below, hashtag Bass and Intuitive Tarot and you'll be entered into the drawing where she'll announce the winner on November 14th on her channel during her birthday. Alright, so let's get to it. What is Libra's person's current feelings towards Libra? What is Libra's person's current thoughts towards Libra and the actions that they want to take towards Libra followed by advice for Libra moving forward. A couple more shuffles and boom, let's rock this deck. Libra's person. Their current feelings towards you? their current thoughts towards you, their actions that they want to take towards you, and the advice for you moving forward. The overall energy for the reading is the Eight of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys could have met each other at work, but if not, no worries. There's definitely an energy of, I want to make this work. I want to put in the dedicated effort. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So whoever you're connecting to, their energy is showing that they want to make things right with this connection. They want to put in the work. They want to put in the effort. Okay? Their current feelings towards you? The Seven of Pentacles. I freaking love that. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's already progression being made. With the Eight of Pentacles being the overall energy and the Seven of Pentacles being their current feelings is good. This is telling me that they're currently feeling like they have been waiting a while for this connection to get off the ground. They've invested a lot of time into this. And when you invest a lot of time into a connection, you don't want to let it go. You don't want it to, to see it like stop because that would be wasted time. Someone definitely feels like they've invested a lot of time into you and they want to see results. And their current thoughts towards you? The Three of Cups. You could be connecting to a Cancerian. Their current thoughts are to get together with you and just celebrate. Maybe have a few drinks together, maybe have a little late night winky poo with that you know, dark sky and the alcoholic cups. There is definitely an energy of, I want to get together with Libra and you know, reconnect. So if you haven't spoken to this person in a while and you haven't talked to them, someone definitely wants to make an effort. And then we have um, Three of Pentacles underneath that. So it definitely could be someone that you've met at work, but if not, this is just someone who's like, I want to work with Libra. We work well together. We make sense together. We see eye to eye. You know, collaborating with Libra will definitely be something that will work out for me in the long run. So they are wanting to communicate with the Eight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, or they have to travel to see you. But there is definitely an energy of someone feeling very connected on a soulmate level with the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Six of Cups to me is you know, confirmation that this person you are dealing with is a soulmate of yours and you have known them from another lifetime. So when you met this person, Libra, it was an instant familiar feeling with them. Sometimes the Six of Cups can indicate someone from your recent past coming back in, but if you're not into anyone from your past, this is just confirming that this person is from a past life and they're thinking of you because the Six of Cups is a very reminiscent energy of someone just thinking about all the things that they like about you, you know, think about the good times, things like that. There is definitely an energy of feeling wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and just feeling like, I love this feeling and I want more of it. So you may be connecting with someone who feels like you're just everything that they look for in a person. It's 
it's that excitement of it can't get any better than this. And then underneath that is the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is an energy of wanting to take it to the long haul, wanting it all. Wanting a stable environment, wanting a commitment, wanting, you know, a home life. And then just under that is the Justice card, Libra energy. You may be dealing with someone who's already thinking about a long-term life filled with kids, animals, or just a marriage. All right? There is an energy of someone wanting to take action with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So, speaking of action, let's see what's in their actions that they want to take towards you, okay? Definitely a lot of positive energy coming through this reading. The actions that they want to take is temperance. They want to take their time. They want balance restored. They're keeping the faith that this connection will move in the way that they want, but the fact that they feel so strongly connected to you, they, won't, they don't want to rush. Whoever you're connecting to, they don't want to rush the process. They, they want to go the right way. Because sometimes when you rush a connection, it might you know quickly burn. So you're definitely connecting with someone who wants to take things slowly. And I was getting a lot of earth for this reading, so you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Or if it's not an earth sign, they have earth predominantly in their chart somewhere. I'm definitely connecting to someone who's like, you know what, we don't need to rush this. This is good. Let's take it day by day. I don't want to screw up a good thing. Because there is an energy of, I've invested a lot of time into this, and I don't want it for nothing. I don't want to waste it. Someone definitely feels like, you're their person and they want to take things slowly. But there is definitely an energy of wanting to definitely have fun with you. Okay? But there is definitely a need for patience with this person. They're definitely giving off that energy of, I can't rush. I'm taking you very seriously, but I can't rush. So please don't rush me. And your advice from Spirit? To wait. I love my cards. I swear. Hangman. Pisces energy. Your advice from spirit is to wait. See the situation in their perspective. Okay, keep this connection stagnant for right now because there may be some things being worked on behind the scenes that you don't know about. There's definitely an energy of making, you know, a lot of investments. All right, there's definitely an energy of making some effort or doing some work behind the scenes that you may not know about. So maybe your person is going through their own process to allow them to move forward with you. Maybe they're still going through some inner healing and they're not ready yet to open themselves up to another person, but they don't want to miss out on you. So they want to take things slow until they feel like they are ready to be in a serious commitment. Or maybe they are finally like letting go of some past energies from old commitments and they don't want to start anything new with you until they know that they are completely done with their past or they feel like you're done with the past. That's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting an energy of someone being like, this is my person. I want things done right. I don't want to screw it up. If I rush and get into a relationship with Libra while I'm still trying to heal from an old relationship, that could screw things up because I don't have 100% me to give to this person yet. All right? So your advice is definitely to wait. Wait it out with this person. Maybe be their friend for a little while or just, you know, mirror what they give to you. So I will clarify that in a minute. But there, there's definitely a good energy here. And then I have the Ace of Swords on the bottom. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Communication coming in, possibly. Truthful communication. Or a fresh new outlook on a situation. Alright, Universe Spirits and Guides. Why is the Eight of Pentacles the overall energy for Libra's person? Why is the Eight of Pentacles the overall energy for Libra's person? Why is the Eight of Pentacles the overall energy for Libra's person? Oh my goodness, I just got freaking chills, you guys, no lie. The Eight of Cups and the Hangman. I don't know if you can see that, but the Eight of Cups and the Hangman came up for why the Eight of Pentacles is the overall energy. Just like I said, someone needs to walk away from something or something from their past with the Eight of Cups, so they are keeping this connection stagnant for a while. They're trying to see the connection in a different perspective, and that's why the Hangman's your advice. It was the exact same thing I said a moment ago. Maybe someone needs to clear out old energy and release something from their past before they can open up themselves to a relationship with you and they don't want to start a relationship while still healing because that could end up you know, causing some you know, complications in the relationship. 
They are definitely scoping you out in a different perspective. They're definitely seeing things out. They're trying to make things work on the back end. Your person is definitely, you know, in the mindset of how can I make this work? How can I provide dedicated effort while also doing for me as well? All right, this person is definitely taking this connection seriously. You are their wish with the star card. Aquarius energy, but also could be Leo. This person is looking at you like a wish come true. And remember how I said that earlier with the Nine of Cups? It had that energy of, oh my goodness, this is my person. Can it get any better than this? That type of energy. Someone is definitely holding back, and it could be a Leo with that strength. But let's just jump right to why their current feelings towards you are the Seven of Pentacles. And just as I said that, the King of Cups flipped out. Pisces energy. I got heavy Pisces on this reading, by the way, and also Cancer, but I also have Scorpio. This person has emotions for you. They're investing because they have emotions. They don't want to give up on you. So they're definitely in the energy of controlling their feelings and not wearing their heart on their sleeve until they understand more about what's going on inside them and where they see this connection going in the future. Someone is definitely taking this seriously. Someone is definitely... Uh, controlling their emotions though. Six of Pentacles on the bottom. They want to bring balance to the connection. They want to be generous towards you. They want to give you the same energy you possibly have been giving to them with the Six of Pentacles. So why is their current thoughts the Three of Cups? Why is their current thoughts towards Libra the Three of Cups? Why are their current thoughts towards Libra the Three of Cups? Ten of Wands on the bottom. Let me get the card that fell. Oh, wow. They're definitely thinking about you a lot with the Page of Swords. They could be a younger air sign, Taurus, for, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your person is trying to release old burdens with the Ten of Wands. I kept on getting that energy with that Eight of Cups. Your person may have to release some stress or release some old energies that have been burdening them and keeping them from moving forward in love. But they are definitely thinking of you and keeping tabs on you with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords doesn't have to be a stalker card. It just, it's just someone learning more about a situation, feeling like they don't know everything going on or knowing what to do, so they want to learn more. They want, they're always thinking about um, how to plan something, how to move forward in something, how to make a dedicated effort in something. So your person's definitely got you on their mind but they have to release some burdens first before they can get their ships to come in with the Three of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius. But here comes the Six of Cups again. They are definitely thinking about you. Whoever this person is, they are thinking about you with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The Six of Cups, again, is my energy of missing somebody, reminiscing about someone, someone who is a soulmate coming in to your life with the Six of Cups. Again, it could definitely mean someone from your recent past is coming back in. But this is definitely confirming that this person is indeed a soulmate. And there's something about time. Something about time is needed here. With the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy. I, I kept on saying it all along. There's something about this person needing more time to work on a few things. And then the Wheel of Fortune is all about divine timing. All right. So if you guys were to start getting into a, a committed relationship right now, it may crash and burn because someone didn't do all the proper steps that they needed to take before opening up to a new relationship. The, the proper um, healing from one relationship to the next or they need to confront something from their past. There's something about divine timing, but when it's right, it's right. When the time is right, it'll be right, Libra, because luck is on your side with the Wheel of Fortune being in the upright, okay? So why is temperance the actions that they want to take? Why is temperance in the actions that this person wants to take towards Libra? Why is temperance? Six of Pentacles again. And the Seven of Pentacles! <laughs> All right, Spirit, you, you messing with me? Seven of Pentacles. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm heavily getting that this person knows that they've invested a lot of time into you or they want to invest a lot of time into you and they want results. I'm getting repeated cards for you guys, which is, you know, Spirit's way of saying you need to focus in on that. They want to bring balance to the connection, they do, but there's something about time that's needed. And here's your energy with the Justice, Libra energy. Someone wants to bring balance to this connection and they want to be very authentic about it. They want to be um, fair. They don't want to 
They don't want to jeopardize the good thing you guys could potentially have gone for you by rushing. They want to make, give this a fair chance, all right, with that justice and the Six of Pentacles. All right, so every card that I'm getting is all signifying patience. Balance being restored after patience. Being patient with somebody. There's definitely love. And if it's not love, there's definitely emotion. Someone doesn't think that you're insignificant, that's for sure. Someone is definitely thinking about you a lot. And they don't want to screw anything up. So they're definitely holding back with the strength card showing up again. So why is Libra's advice from spirit the hangman? Why is Libra's advice from spirit the hangman? <gasps> I just got chills again. The Hierophant and Judgment. Spirit is telling you to be quiet and to stay still and stay stagnant because your person's about to make a big decision with the judgment. And it's surrounding a higher level of commitment or they're needing advice from someone that they trust with the Hierophant, Taurus energy. But they are getting ready to make a final call. The judgment comes up when someone needs to make a final decision. It's, it's kind of that energy of needing to make a call to action. Or it's someone asking for a second chance with you. Or someone wanting a reconciliation. Or someone finally thinking, it's time to shit or get off the pot. It's my shit or get off the pot card. And it's surrounding this Hierophant energy. Someone wants long term. So Spirit is saying, please don't push this person. Please just stay stagnant and keep it. Sorry about that. Just stay stagnant and, you know, wait it out a little bit with this person. Maybe be friends with them or check in on one of the, um, check on them from time to time and just see where it goes. Release control issues and just let it unfold naturally. That's your advice, to let it unfold naturally. Because someone is definitely thinking about long term with you. Someone is definitely thinking about long term. And they might be displaying the energy of being very on and off with you with the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. But this is them just having a lot going on right now and trying to multitask. The Knight of Wands shows up in all of my readings mostly um, because I'm a very busy person. I'm definitely not a player. So usually other tarot readers would call this the player card. I'm seeing this as an energy of I've got a lot going on. I still want to invest a lot of time into Libra, but I also have to put my energy elsewhere. Okay? But someone definitely has emotions that they want to offer you with the Knight of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's get three romance angels for how you're seeing this situation. In the extended, I will dig deeper into your person's energy to find out their true feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. And I'll also pull three romance angels for how they're seeing it. But this is your soulmate. That's what I was saying all along with those, that Six of Cups energy. This person is definitely your soulmate. You've known this person before and you guys have insane chemistry. Or when you meet this person, you're gonna have insane chemistry. There's going to be an energy of, it can't get any better than this. this, this person makes me feel great and that's because this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek someone is viewing you as holy shit this is the one and your love life is ascending to a higher level of engagement what have I been saying this entire time especially with that judgment that higher fit and the the justice card dudes and dudettes someone's gonna want to lock you down okay Someone's going to want to lock you down, but they don't want to rush the process. They don't, they feel like you are so worth it. There's no need to rush. They want to, you know, they want to take their time, but there's definitely love with that King of Cups. All right. And this person is seeing you as their wish come true. So yeah, just never wait on someone. If you have another opportunity that presents itself to you, go for it. But if you really see that this person's worth waiting for, be patient with them. As long as they communicate with you what's going on with them, then yeah, give this person some time. But if they're not telling you anything and just leaving you in the dark, then find, find another person. But there's definitely an energy of someone viewing you as the one and they don't want to rush and screw up anything. All right, Libra? So if this resonated, the link to the extended is down below. Uh, please be sure to hit like, hit the notification bell, hit subscribe, share with your friends, your neighbors, your dogs, your cats, everybody. And if you want to book a personal reading, that info is down below. Bye.